Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to wrap up the year 2020. Um, if you watched my last video, you know I experienced a little tank crash. And so before we get started, I just want to thank each and every one of you who left all the nice comments, the words of encouragement. It really helped a lot because it was uh, it was kind of a bad experience. I've never had quite um, such the wipeout on the whole time I've been reefing. So it was a big hit, but there is some good news. The tank is recovered, and I was able to save everything except the Walt Disney. So let me flip this camera around, and I'll show you exactly how much stuff I lost. This is it, guys. This is uh, all the Acropora that came out of the tank. Like I said, it was quite the bummer. Uh, once I got the iodine to drop a bit, things kind of stopped, and it took a while for, uh, well, three months now for everything to bounce back. Um, I did, like I said, I was able to save all the coral except for the Walt Disney, and a good friend of mine, Alex, he uh, hooked me up and gave me a piece of the Walt Disney, so that's back in the frag tank and in the main display, so all good there. So let's go take a look at the tank. All right, guys, here we are uh, back at the tank. So as you can see, the uh, color has all came back. A lot of these corals went really brown during the crash. This, this one here, anything with yellow in it went completely brown. I didn't really have uh, much problem with any of the euphilia when uh, I had my crash. The crash was caused by what I believe was an iodine overdose. I was slowly started losing things. So I sent in an ICP test, and like I mentioned in the last video, it was 800 and something times more than what it's supposed to be. Uh, the one euphilia I did have trouble with was the uh, Nyx torch here, and I had to completely pull it from the tank and let it recover in the frag tank for about two months. But it's uh, back in the main display doing well. The green torch never batted an eye. A couple of the small frags are clippings from corals that I almost lost. Some of the bigger colonies, they uh, really dulled out in color, but they're coming back now. The Paletta Pink Tet back there on the reef racks mounted to the overflow box, it was almost completely brown. It's getting its pink tips back and it's uh, nice to see all the colors slowly coming back proving over time um, I have noticed that I'm not getting quite the uh, polyp extension that I was before but I think in some time it will come out again hopefully It's been about three months since the crash, but everything is doing really well. It couldn't be happier. Um, it did, like you saw out there in the yard, I lost quite a bit of uh, coral. But then uh, it was kind of a blessing at the same time. I was able to cut most of these things out of the tank and give them a really good dip. You can see here how I mounted each one of the colonies on its own individual rock. That way I could pull it out for easy uh, dipping. That was a problem I was having before. Uh, some of you know that have been watching my videos, I've been fighting acro eating flatworms for almost a year. And uh, I was able to dip just about everything. I think the only two colonies I didn't completely get out were the green slimer. It's just so encrusted on the rock. It would be almost impossible to remove. Same with this guy. I mean, I could cut it off, but um, the, those two corals actually have never shown any acroiding flatworm um, bites or eggs. This rock here was also, things are really encrusted on it, so, but I was able to pull the entire rock out and dip in Melifix. And for the last few weeks, um, I haven't seen any acroiding flatworms during my dips. And I've been blowing the corals off 
every couple of days with the turkey baster and I haven't been seeing any of the adults flying off, which was the case before. So I'm hoping I got those guys beat back. I thought that before and then I find some damage and some eggs. So hopefully I'm out of the woods on that. That's been a sucky battle because it uh, has done quite a bit of damage on some of the acros. That's a lesson learned for me. I had a few corals that I bought that were fully encrusted on the frag plug. From now on, I don't care how encrusted they are, I will cut the coral off the frag plug just to make sure that no eggs sneak in. It's been a terrible battle, but I've been able to fight through it. It hasn't taken any coral completely, but it definitely has done some damage. But besides that, guys, the tank is doing well again. And I couldn't be happier. It's uh, did get a couple new fish additions. I got the blue hippo tang here. It came from a tank breakdown that I actually wound up buying. So that will be my new build for 2021. It's uh, 96 by 30 by 27. Uh, with the sump, total water volume is about 450 gallons. So I'm super excited to do that. Before I do that, I have to sell the uh, pinball machines. I have to have some electrical run on this wall. And then this room, and I'm on carpet. So carpet's going to be coming out. I'm going to be tiling the floor. And the new build will go on this wall right here. So really looking forward to that. Um, the other new addition is the One Spot Fox Face. He's been doing really good. Um, I was hoping he would help me with bubble algae, so I put a couple emerald crabs, a One Spot Fox Face, and I've been using Brightwell Razor, and the bubble algae has seemed to be taken care of. I still see a couple little pieces here and there, but definitely not as bad as it was. Other than that, guys, the tank is running pretty much on autopilot again. I'm just keeping everything stable. I'm not dosing the iodine anymore and I need to check it again to see where my levels are at. But um, like I said, I was able to get it down with a bunch of back-to-back -back water changes. I used Brightwell Erase CL. I think problem that led to the coral stripping was I just went entirely too fast. I panicked when I saw that level. The corals had adapted to that really high level of iodine and I shocked the system by dumping it back down really fast. So there's another lesson learned, learned the hard way, but that's okay. So once again, guys, thanks for um, all your encouraging words on the last video and everyone have a happy new year. We will catch you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed to me or followed me on Instagram, um, please do so. I post there almost daily. I don't get around to making too many YouTube videos, but if you want to track all my progress, stuff I got going on with the tank, it's CC underscore Reefkeeper, R-E-E-F-K-P-R. Until then, guys, Happy New Year, stay safe, and we'll talk to you on the next video.